Hey guys, it's Benedict Times the vegan. Why? I'm an internationalist 2023. I'm an internationalist because I'm against suffering. And I'm not a hypocrite. I'm against suffering and I'm not a hypocrite. That is why I'm an internationalist. Humanity is against suffering. The problem is that most humans are hypocrites. I'm an internationalist because I'm against suffering and I'm not a hypocrite. We're against suffering. That is why we punish people who cause suffering. Even though by punishing them who are causing suffering, which is hypocritical, but we are actually against suffering. It's just that we're hypocrites. It sucks that humans are hypocrites. We don't do things that make sense. We don't do things that we can explain. It's like we're under a spell. I'm an internationalist because I'm against suffering. I've suffered in this world and I've seen a lot of people suffer. And I'm against that. I would understand if people are suffering because they are trying to accomplish something. I would understand if we were working towards something as a collective and that's the reason, and that was the reason why we were suffering. I would understand. But we're suffering because we were born here. That's it. People are actually suffering because they were born here and they don't know what the heck they're doing. It's not like they're doing something. Like if you ask them, okay, what are you doing? They'll be able to tell you that, oh, this is what I'm doing. You know, I'm suffering in this world because I'm trying to do this. You know, they can't tell you why they're suffering. They're just here because they were born. And that is why I've decided that I'm not going to bring another person into this world. Because we don't have a purpose, but we're suffering. People are suffering because they were born here. They're not suffering because there's a purpose to life. No, it has nothing to do with that. They were born here and they don't know what they're doing here. And when you really think about it, life does not make sense. We find ourselves chasing pleasure because we're trying to avoid suffering. Nope. We're trying to avoid suffering. Just like um, I was telling you that humans are actually against suffering. They're just hypocrites. You know, because if they were not hypocrites, they will not bring people into a world where there's too much suffering. And on top of that, we don't know why we're suffering. It's not like we're suffering for something is that's what's crazy it would make sense if we're suffering because we're trying to accomplish something you know if a person came to me and asked me oh why are you suffering benedict time tell me why are you suffering i would tell them though no, i'm suffering because um i'm trying to leave this world better than it was when I got here, you know, and I can see that as a collective, that's what we're trying to do, you know, but people are just trying to survive. Every person that's here is just trying to survive. 
every person that's here is trying to avoid suffering because we suffer here so people are trying to avoid suffering doing what they can to avoid suffering so when you bring a child into this world you are bringing them into a world where they will have to avoid suffering That's what they'll be trying to do every day. They'll be trying to avoid suffering. Because in this world, people suffer. You've, you will have put them in a trap, basically. You know, you would have put them in a trap because they'll have to, you know, constantly try to avoid suffering. And you can't completely avoid suffering. You'll always suffer because even by trying to avoid suffering, you'll be suffering. The things that we do to avoid suffering make us suffer. So if we were not hypocrites, we would understand that the best thing that we can do is to stop bringing more people into a world where they will suffer, even though that's not what they want. Because we'll also understand that they're not suffering because we're trying to accomplish something. They're suffering because we keep on bringing them here, even though they do not have a purpose. You see, we keep bringing children here. We don't know why we're bringing children into this world, because they don't have a purpose. But we keep on bringing them here. It sucks. And on top of that, even though we're suffering and we don't know why we're suffering, even though we hate suffering, even though we don't like seeing the world in a state that is in, we still cause suffering deliberately. It sucks. That is why I believe that humanity is actually insane. That's why I believe that humanity is actually insane. Because think about it. We still deliberately cause suffering. There are a lot of people in this world that are suffering not because... In this world people suffer. No, because there are people that are causing suffering. Deliberately. They just decided that they want to cause suffering. That makes them feel good, I guess, because they're sadistic. There are people like that. There are people who don't want you to be happy in this world. Believe it or not, there are people who do not want you to be happy. There are people who want you to suffer. People that you know. They want you to suffer. They don't even know why they want you to suffer. They just want you to suffer. That's why people can never really get along. Think about it. If you have a job, do people love one another where you work? Or they're always gossiping about one another. They're always having problems with one another. They can't really get along. They can't even get along for the sake of your department, for the sake of your company. They can't get along. Do you understand how stupid would have to be to not be able to get along even if we're not that many. But no, nah, human beings can not get along. That's because deep down we're just like other animals. We just know too much. And because we're just like other animals, we're using 
our knowledge for evil. We are using our knowledge for evil. We are using our intelligence for evil. And because of that, we will never, ever have a world that is actually good. We'll never have a world that is actually good. We'll never have a world that actually makes sense. What is your ideal world? My ideal world will be a world where people are allowed to choose death if they want to die. You know, without people convincing themselves that that's evil. But here's what you must notice. That's not everyone's ideal world. There are people in this world who would not accept that kind of world. There are people in this world that would fight against the legalization of assisted dying. Who would feel like that is evil? You see, that's why I'm saying we can never get along. We can never have a perfect world. Because of that, we can never agree on one thing. You know, even though autonomy is that important, there are people in this world that feel like you must not have autonomy. Do you understand? So how are we going to have a world that actually makes sense if we are like that? You can see that even if we convinced ourselves that we're trying to build a better world. We're trying to you know, build a world that actually makes sense. We would fail because we are too different. If there are people who are against you having autonomy, imagine what other things we'll disagree on. Because there are people who are saying you must not have a right to choose when you're going to die. There are people who genuinely feel like that is wrong. So if there are people who genuinely feel like that's wrong, imagine the other things that we'll find ourselves disagreeing on. So you see, we can never have a world that actually makes sense because people will keep on fighting because they're different. They have different values. They didn't see the world the same way growing up. You know, they were programmed differently. They feel differently. Not everyone is feeling the way that you're feeling. There are people in this world who are homophobic. People who feel like it should be legal for some people to get married do you understand how stupid that is what other people are doing is their business but i feel like nah they shouldn't be doing what they're doing i want you to understand we can never have a good world if we are still like that that's something that you must understand if there are people that will convince themselves that gay people are evil, God hates gay people, they don't even realize that it's them that hate gay people because really if God hated gay people, he wouldn't have created gay people. Why would he create something that he hates? Like what are they afraid of? I mean, as a person that's not gay, I know that even if I lived around gay people, I would never turn gay. 
because I'm not gay. There isn't anything that's gonna, you know, make me want to be gay. It doesn't work that way. I, I can never be gay. It's not possible. So what are they afraid of? Maybe, you know, the people that are homophobic are gay and are afraid that <laughs> if there were enough gay people where they live, they will not be able to fight it. Who knows? Because a person that's not gay knows that they'll never be gay no matter what. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You can never just choose you know, to be gay. It, it doesn't work like that. It's what you know, other people are. It, 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 it isn't something that they chose. You know, so should I be like, okay, just because I'm not gay, I, I shouldn't, you know, other people shouldn't be allowed to be gay. You know what I mean? That shows you how stupid we are as people. So how can we create a world that makes sense if we're that stupid? That people are still racist. That black people that are still racist. That white people that are still racist. People who are pro-black. Melanin, melanin. When you go on TikTok, you find people talking about melanin, whatever. Black people are better than white people. Um, they have powerful genes. Uh, that's why they are able to produce other races, all these things. And you find uh, black people saying, yeah, yeah, that's why they hate us. That's why they're like, man, how are we going to create a world that actually makes sense if we're like that? We can't. Suffering is inevitable. And what I hate about suffering in this world is that we're suffering because we are stupid. It's not like we're suffering because we're intelligent and we're trying to work towards something. No, we're suffering simply because we're stupid. If you are homophobic and causing suffering because you're homophobic, you're doing that because you're stupid. You're not doing that because you're intelligent. You have to understand. You have to understand that you are programmed that way as a human, I guess, to want to control other people like that, and feel like you are doing something that's right. That's what's crazy, because they feel like they're doing something that is right. If you are racist, you can even convince yourself that you are doing the right thing. It's easy to convince yourself that. You, you are doing the right thing, especially if what you're doing is something that you love doing. It's easy to find people that believe what you believe. It's easy to see yourself as the good guy if what you're doing is making you feel good. That's how you are as the human animal. You're not more intelligent than other animals. That's something that you must understand. If we were, you know, going to be able to create a, a better world, we would need to accept one another. I would need to accept people that I do not understand. Because I do not understand them. That's what I must understand. Like, I don't understand you. So must I make your life harder than it should be because I do not understand you? It's me who does not understand you. It's not like it's you who does not understand me. It's me who does not understand you. So why should I make your life hard because I do not understand you? But nah. Humans don't have a problem causing suffering. Humans don't have a problem causing harm. But they're against suffering. They don't even realize when they're causing suffering. They don't even realize when they're being hypocrites.
So that's why I decided that I'm not going to bring another person into this mess. Because I can see that we're just insane. I can see that we don't understand what the heck we're doing in this world. I can see that the world is not becoming better. We're not making decisions that are making this world better. I can see that there are a lot of people that are suffering simply because they were born here and they've not done anything wrong. They're completely innocent. Because think about it, if I'm against suffering, I mustn't be bringing people into a world where they will suffer just because they were born in that world. One thing that you must understand is that people are born as they are. If I decide that I'm going to make them suffer because they were born as they are, I'm causing unnecessary suffering. You know, I might convince myself that what I'm doing is right. Because, you know, human beings do that. You know, they try to convince themselves that even when they're doing things that are evil, you know, it's necessary evil, I guess. But that's causing suffering. That's causing unnecessary suffering. We bully people for being weak, for being different, for being themselves. There are a lot of people that are suffering because humanity is stupid. People that are suffering Because they do not do things the way that society expects them to do things. Or because they cannot do some of the things that society expects them to do. There are a lot of people that are suffering because society feels like they are ugly. People are being judged for how they look. One thing that you must realize is that there isn't a person that chose how they're going to look. So really, if we're against suffering, why do we cause suffering for other people for how they look? For something that they had nothing to do with. They just found themselves like that. But I don't have a problem as a human to cause suffering for them. Just for how they look. Do you understand how stupid that is? Do you understand how ridiculous that is? And we still feel like this world is good. It is not, bruh. There are people that are living with traumas that they cannot heal from because they've realized that we suck. Because what I'm telling you shows you that we really do suck as a collective. We just don't see that we suck because it seems like when we're together as people, we want to believe that life is good. Like when we're together, we want to believe that life is good. And we want people to convince us that life is good. We want to feel like life is good. So we cannot have honest conversations about how evil this world is. We cannot have honest conversations about the amount of suffering that people have to go through. Just because they were born here. That's what's crazy. That is why. People don't speak the truth at funerals. There are a lot of people who suck. Who have died. But if you know. If you didn't know them. If you attended the funerals and didn't know them, you know, you'd feel, you would have felt like, you know what? These people are good. We're good. That's because you're not allowed to speak the truth in front of people. I can speak the truth on YouTube, but here's the thing.
the people that are watching me are not in one place. You have to understand that humans are powerful when they are in one place. But we're not allowed to stand in front of people and actually speak the truth. We're supposed to say things that are okay to say in front of people. If you stand in front of people and say something that is true, here's what's going to happen. Even the people that know that what you're saying is true will boo you. That's what's going to happen. Everyone is going to boo you. They're going to start talking. They're going to start talking while you're, while you're speaking. Why would they be talking about? They'll be talking about you. Like, oh, listen to what this person is saying. I always, I always knew that this person was crazy. Listen to what they're saying. <laughs> they're speaking the truth. But it's taboo to speak the truth in front of people. No, that's why it seems like this world is good. It's because we don't really want people to speak the truth. We want people to lie. You know that people are going to lie at funerals. People ain't going to be telling the truth. People are going to lie where there's many people. They're not going to be speaking the truth. That's what's expected. If you're supposed to speak at a funeral, you're supposed to know how to lie. You're not supposed to stand in front of people and speak the truth. They're going to have a problem with you. If you stand in front of people and speak the truth at a funeral, they're going to have a problem with you. But that's how it is everywhere. You just can't speak the truth. You just can't speak your mind. You just can't talk about how the world really is. But the truth is, people are suffering like crazy, man. And simply because they were born in a world full of suffering. And people knowingly brought them into this world. You know, they knew that in this world, there's, you know, these people are going to suffer, but they still brought them into this world. You know, and you might say, You're focusing on the negatives, you know, because that's what people like to say. You're focusing on the negatives. The problem is that the default state of the world is actually negative. We're doing the things that we feel are positive in order to escape the negativity. See? We're trying to make the best out of what we have. Another thing that you must realize is that everything that you think is good is predicated upon something evil. So saying that I focus on the negative stuff will be like if you know, someone came to you and told you that they got raped. And you say, you know, you're focusing on the negative stuff. I mean, the person that was raping you was experiencing pleasure. That's positive. You're focusing on the negative stuff. Because what you must understand is that that's a lot of people that have to suffer for some people to enjoy. That's what you must understand. It's not like people just enjoy life like that. They just find themselves enjoying life. No, a lot of people have to suffer for some people to enjoy life. Some people have to be abused for some people to enjoy life. A lot of people are being abused in this world and they don't even know that they are being abused. You know, 
because abuse is normalized it's okay people have accepted that this is how the world is so it's kind of okay that you know people get abused but nah it isn't it would be okay if people chose to be here if people chose to come into a world where they're going to suffer and if people were allowed to choose death if they wanted to choose death but no we don't want people to have the right to die so they are supposed to suffer because they found themselves in a world like this and they cannot say nah they're tired they can't say that they're tired and we think that that's good we think that that makes sense that's why i'm telling you that we're delusional because that's being delusional that's being stupid you know that's uh hypocritical because if people did not choose to be here at least allow them to leave if they want to leave that's what makes the most sense you allow them to leave because you know that's what they want you don't force them to be here because you feel like they should be here that should tell you something about this world we live in a world where people are being forced to be here even if they do not want to be here that's why i'm saying that my ideal world would be a world where people will be allowed to choose death if that's what they want i hate seeing people suffering especially if that's not what they want so if you want to suffer that's okay it makes sense that you are allowed to suffer because that's what you want but it doesn't make sense to force other people to suffer because we have convinced ourselves that it is best for people to live for as long as possible because people are suffering because we've convinced ourselves that it is best for them to live for as long as possible they cannot say no they cannot say they're tired we've convinced ourselves that if they feel that way they need help so trust me a world like this can never be good if that's how humans think if humans are different and they think that they are the same because think about it maybe if you feel like people must not have the right to die you and the people who think that way should not have the right to die because maybe you are the same but maybe there are people that are different you know there are people that are not like you so they shouldn't be following the same laws that you're following and they shouldn't be forced to follow the laws that you're following you know just like we we don't um force animals to follow the laws that we're following we understand that they are animals they're different they're different from us so they shouldn't really be living like us maybe that's what we must be doing with humans we must understand that humans are not really the same because they have different values they don't understand things the same way some people are super stupid some people are super smart those that are stupid 
you're going to say that they're stupid because of the decisions that they make. You're going to say that they're stupid because of their beliefs, because of their values. You see, those that are smart, you're going to see that they are the ones that are smart because of their beliefs, because of their values, because of how they live their lives. So why should we all be treated the same? Why should stupid people and those that are intelligent be treated the same if they don't even want the same things? Those that are stupid will want things that are going to you know, make them feel good at their level of awareness. Those that are intelligent are going to want things that are going to make them feel good at the level of awareness. I mean, you can't force 8 billion humans to be the same. To think the same way, to feel the same way. People must be allowed to be themselves. They must be allowed to see the world the way that they see it. They must be allowed to feel the way that they feel. But we don't live in a world that allows people to be different, that allows people to be themselves, that allows people to feel the way that they want to feel. We live in a world where people are being controlled. In a world where people are treated like they're all the same. And people that are having kids don't even understand that that's what's happening. They've convinced themselves that they are bringing their children into a world where, can, where they can just, you know, have fun, you know, have a good human experience. And if they're suffering, it's because something is wrong. It's, it's how the world is. There are people that are going to suffer in a world like this. You know, if you bring a child into a world where there are people that are controlling everything, where there are people that are deciding what's right or wrong, what's cool, what's not cool, what's okay, what's not okay, your children are going to suffer because they will be forced to conform. We are being forced to conform because we are supposed to be slaves. We ain't supposed to be free. Doesn't that suck? So think about it. If you are not a hypocrite, isn't the best thing to do to not uh, bring children to this world? I mean, why should you be bringing children? What do you think is going to happen when you bring children into this world? And what do you think they are going to do that's really important? It is scary that we have the power to bring people into this world but we don't know why we are bringing people into this world so we have the power to do something that causes a lot of suffering and we do not even know why we are doing that which causes a lot of suffering I mean think about it man If you walked around asking people who have children, why they have children, do you think they'll be able to tell you why they have children? Do you think they'll be able to explain to you why they have children? 
If you ask people why they have dogs, they'll tell you why they have dogs. They'll tell you that dogs make them feel safe. Dogs are going to scare criminals away. Dogs are going to protect them. But if you ask them why they have children, they will not really be able to tell you. They'll just tell you they love kids. I love kids. If you don't have a kid, I'm telling you, you should have a kid because that's going to change how you view the world. You know, that's going to change your life. You must have a child because that's going to change your life. Trust me. Being a father is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Being a mother is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I get how it makes you feel, but... Either than how it makes you feel, what does it, it really do for you? I understand that it makes you feel happy. Is, is, is that why you are having children? Because it makes you feel happy? Or you believe that it will make you feel happy? Because, you know, there are a lot of people who have children who are not happy, who will be feeling much better if they didn't have uh, children. Because you might understand that if you have a child, that child is going to be yours until they die. That child is going to be yours until they die. Even if you do not take care of that child, that child will still be yours. You will still be feeling like, yo, I have a child that I'm not taking over. You still feel guilty. They're going to hate you if you're not taking care of them and they know that you are their parent. When they do messed up things, people are going to be asking themselves, who's the parent of this one? Your child is going to be yours, man. And... They'll have a right to call you their parent. They'll have a right to want you to help them. Every child deserves that. If you bring a child into this world, you got to take care of that child. If that child needs your help, you can't just bring them into this world and not take care of them. They didn't ask to be born. You know, they found themselves in this world where they can't, where, where they can't even live, where they have to just continue to be alive. So if they need help, you got to help them. It's your job to help them. You're not going to just decide to abandon your child. No one should be allowed to abandon their child. I believe in freedom, but when it comes to that, no. You shouldn't be allowed to abandon your child. You brought the child into this world. Why should you abandon the child? The parents... We say that, okay, if my kid um, turns 18 and they do not have a job, they would need to move out. You know, the parents actually feel that way. Like, nah, man, that's your child. This life is not easy in this world. It's not like, you know, you can just wake up in the morning and go and just find a good job. It doesn't work that way. It's not easy to find a job in this world. And things are... Becoming much harder. There's another thing. Things are becoming much harder. It's not like things are becoming easier. So that's what you must take into consideration before you bring a child into this world.
because it is true that no one is here because they wanted to be here because they said i want to be in this world i want to find myself you know addicted to the things of this world i want to find myself attached to the things of this world have relationships with people because most people are just addicted to this world there are a lot of people who feel like they don't want to be here but they're addicted to the things of this world they're addicted to people who are in their lives they're addicted to how they feel they're addicted to some of the things that they're used to doing the same way that people who are addicted to drugs are addicted to drugs you must understand that most of the things in this world are addictive people are addictive you fall in love with the person you're addicted to them it's, you know that's why it's not easy to leave a person that you love it's not easy to leave a person that you're addicted to even if you know that's what's best for you there are people who cannot leave their relationships right now because they're addicted to the person that they're with they know that ah this person is not good for me but they're addicted to that person so they're in a relationship with that person so is is it okay to bring someone into a world where they will be addicted to it because people are not really here because they really love being here they are actually here because the things that they find themselves doing are addictive and on top of that there are a lot of people that are addicted to you, you. It's another thing that we must understand. There are a lot of people that are addicted to you. <laughs> there are a lot of people who will not want you to die because they are actually addicted to you. So they want you to be here. So it seems like people are here because they actually want to be here well the truth is that they're actually addicted to a lot of things here and there are a lot of people that are actually addicted to them so if you open your eyes you'll actually realize that we are actually playing a very very sick game that's the thing all right This is the thing we're actually playing a very very sick game and unless we open our eyes to what's really happening things will only become worse there are a lot of people who think that they are woke a lot of people who are telling themselves that they are woke are telling themselves that they can see what is happening in this world but they are hypocrites they are still bringing more people into this world into this world that they know is evil you know there are people who are telling themselves that they are woke and they know that there are better realms out there but they are still having children You're like man shut the fuck up If you know that this world is evil If you know that this world is evil and you're not a hypocrite 
he should not be bringing a child into this world. We need to be that real and we need to take ourselves seriously. I respect internationalists because they don't just talk about what they want. They don't just talk about how the world should be. They are doing what is necessary to make change. They are doing what's necessary for things to actually be better. They are not just talking about the problems that we are having. They don't just talk about what they understand. Because there are people who will talk about what they understand so that they will make money off what they understand. You know, a lot of people that you think are woke are just making money of being woke. They're not even that woke. You know, because I haven't seen a lot of people that I would say, yeah, this this one is really work. So they just study a lot of different books, study history, and they talk about what they've studied. They don't even know what should be done. And then people be like, oh, that person is intelligent, that person is work. No, they're not. They just fill their heads with the right information, but they don't know what to do with that information. Because if we live in a world where there's a cabal of like evil people that are controlling everything, And they are ahead of us. They know things that we do not know. They can do things that we cannot do. They control us in a lot of different ways. There are people who actually believe that there are evil geniuses in this world that can actually trap our souls. I remember Kev Nett sent me a video of someone talking about this. Oh. They like, okay, here's how they trap your soul. Make sure that you reincarnate back here. There are people who believe that shit while still having kids. Isn't that madness? Because they're telling themselves that they are woke. I'm woke. I know that uh, there are people who are doing this and that to make sure that our souls are trapped here, to make sure that we keep on reincarnating uh, back here so that we'll be slaves. But you're still having kids. Why are you having kids? That's madness. If you're not going to be a hypocrite, you'll realize that the best thing to do is to not have kids. That's the best thing that you can do. There's nothing else that you can do. You can talk about your wokeness. People are going to clap hand, hands for you because they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. This person understands what's going on. This person is intelligent, but that's not going to change anything because people are cowards. That's another thing that you must understand. How many people have spoken about what's going on in this world and what have we done? Things are becoming worse. We're not really doing anything that's really making this world better. We know a lot about what's happening in the world more than any other generation that has ever been here. More than any other civil, maybe civilizations that we know nothing about knew a lot, but People that are here now have access to a lot of information.
you have access to information that people that lived in the 1800s didn't have in the 1900s didn't have in the 1700s didn't have you have information that they do not have you don't even have to buy books any book that you want you can get it online for free you don't even have to read books there are loads of YouTube channels that you can watch if you want to gain information, if you want to gain knowledge about anything. So you don't necessarily need to read books. There are a lot of people that you can talk to, a lot of people that don't have a problem talking to people that they do not even know. You know, there are people with, who have YouTube channels that you can talk to. Ask them what they think about some things and they'll tell you what they think. But still, humanity is unable to make the right decisions. So wokeism is like another trap. People just think that woke... They get what needs to be done and they start feeling better than people that are still asleep. You know, they feel that they, are, they feel like they are better than people that are asleep because they understand some things, but they're doing the same things that the people that are asleep are doing. So that shows you that maybe it's not information that's going to save us. Maybe it's not even uh, being woke that's going to save us. Uh, maybe it's not being woke that's going to save us. Maybe we just need to be making the right decisions. Maybe we don't even need to be Making the right, maybe we don't even need to know the right things. Maybe we just need to be making the right decisions. But we, we fail. We keep on failing. We keep on failing because the people that are controlling everything are way smarter than us. But the best thing that you can do is not have children. It's, you know, you must just realize that when, you know, I, I can't do anything. Because what can you do? Do you think you can conquer the world? Do you think you can start an army? Do you think that if you became very, very famous, you would change the world? No, you wouldn't change the world. You know what will happen? There will be a lot of people that will hate you. That's what will happen. There will be a lot of people that will hate you. Because they hate the truth that you speak. So if you became powerful, there will be people that will hate you. So you wouldn't really be changing the world. That's because people are different. Even if the creator of this universe came to earth and told us what we must do, we would not listen. Some people would not listen. We want to know why we are so different. We'll tell ourselves different stories. We'll tell ourselves, oh, that's, that's the devil. Would we'll tell us of anything to 
disagree with one another. This is the thing. So trust me. We can't win. So the best thing that you can do is not have children. You must realize that the people that are suffering in this world are actually suffering because they were brought here. So maybe that there are people that have realized that and they're not bringing people into this world and it helps. You know, imagine if people were, everyone was having a kid right now. Things would be much, much worse. So there are people that are realizing that, no, they don't have to have kids. Even if they're not internally, some are just child-free. Some are just focusing on what they love doing. Because there are a lot of things that you can do in this world. You didn't just come here to bring children into this world. That sucks. I mean, even if you were created to do that, but you can choose to do what you love doing. Thank you.